Hello, welcome back to my channel, Mommy Trainee. Today I have a recent empties video for you. I mean, they do it for skincare, so why not have a Young Living Edition? So I've gathered all the products that I have finished and empty recently, and these are all my Young Living products. Um, I normally don't throw out the bottles, for you know a, a number of different reasons because i obviously if it's essential oils i could either clean it up to do other diys or i could just without even cleaning it up i could just put oils into it and you know do a diy um there are some personal products that i have here sometimes i leave the bottle so that i could actually play like when i have the replacement I could actually play with some dilution to see, you know, how I wanted it diluted and what I wanted to, it to dilute it with. So let's take a look at, um, I have two big bottle, like personal care products. The first one is the Lavender Hand and Body Lotion. Um, this is something that I purchased last year. Um, I think either November, December in one of the sale, buy one, get one th uh, free. I got two of these and I didn't realize that um, I like it. And for the whole year, it's been sitting there up until October or maybe November when I see some people like doing hacks on how to dilute it, how to like make it a little bit easier to spread. Because my whole, my whole issue is that you, it's very, very hard. It's very thick. So it's very hard for you to like spread it out and put it on your body after you shower. Um, so that's why it's been on my, uh, on my, in my, around my sink for like a year. I didn't even touch it, but then people give me an idea. Like they dilute it with water. Um, I tried diluting it with a little bit of, uh, distilled or purified water and I didn't really like it that much. But then once I thought, I'm like, Hey, if you dilute it with, with water, maybe I could dilute it with something else. And I tried witch hazel. I tried, um, uh, glycerin and I've tried you know some uh, vitamin E oil I tried um, aloe vera gel and that's when I like oh okay with aloe vera gel and you know maybe some a, a few drops of you know some other stuff and actually it's very good um, once it thins out a little bit it doesn't lose is it's um it's nourishing property so when you put it on your skin it's, you still feel very nourished but at the same time it's a little thinner like a it's not a gel it's just like a more you know um it's just a little thinner but it still has that thickness to it when you dilute it with aloe vera gel uh whereas when you dilute it with water it's gonna be very very runny so that's what I like. So once I diluted it, I I don't I st I'm still kind of using this bottle to kind of work out my dilution, how much of the lotion with how much of the uh, you know aloe vera, and then I'm gonna put a pump back onto this, and then you know we're we're gonna be set. So that's another reason why I don't throw away my bottles. <laughs> uh, but this is one of the ones. This is actually the second one that I have finished in the last three months now. I know I run through them like crazy because, you know, it's not just me. I put it on my son. My husband's not using it yet because he's not really the lotion type, I guess. Um, I've never seen him using lotion on his body except for like spot treating certain things. Um, so it's like me and my son between the two of us. It's basically um, I reapply during the day a lot because winter is very harsh on my skin, especially this winter for some reason. Um, so I used a lot of it. So this is my second bottle in the last like three, almost four months now, October, you know, three, four months now. Um, I already have new ones coming in already in my last unboxing. I have two of them. So hopefully that's going to last me through the whole winter. Uh, but I'm still playing with the dilution. I don't really dilute it a lot. Um, so that's why it's not like a half bottle of aloe vera gel with half bottle of lavender. It's just basically, a, you know, maybe a, I would say like one fifth of, um, yeah, uh, probably one fifth of aloe vera gel with like four fifths of the lotion. And then sometimes I put some other stuff in it, like um, vitamin E oil, which is very thick. So I just basically use this bottle now, you know, I've emptied it, use this bottle, put it in, shake it up, and then test it to see how I like it. If I like it, put a pump on it, and that's how I use it. So that's that. It's actually one of those that initially I really don't like, and then it turns into something that I really, really like. 
the next item is it is another one of those things that I don't throw away my bottle. Uh, this is the Kobaiba Vanilla Shampoo. And I think this is probably my second one ever since I started using this last year. Uh, one bottle of this, especially if you dilute it, it's going to last, you know, quite long. Not as long as some other people would. Um, because they, th there are some people who said that, you know, one bottle could turn into four bottles. And then I'm like, uh, it's so watery. I don't really... I don't know like for me I feel like that's that's too much dilution for me I like just a little bit of dilution I still like a little bit of the gel texture instead of like if I diluted one to four bottles one bottle to four into four bottles it literally feels like water to me and I'm like how are you gonna put it like around your hair and wash everywhere you have to have a lot of it right I basically, if I tried it in like a small bottle, and I basically have to squirt it all over my my he my head to wash my hair, and I don't really like it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what I do is, um, now that this bottle is finished, this is my second bottle ever. Uh, now that this bottle is finished, I think my dilution rate would be. I mean, I'm still playing around with it, but um, I think it would be a quarter water to three quarters of shampoo. So it, it still has, it's still very, very concentrated. I'm not saying that it's not concentrated. I just don't like the texture of too watery. So I still like a gel texture to it. Um, but you still use very, very little. Even after you dilute one quarter water. <clears throat> um, so the, the way that I use this is that once I dilute it, you know, shake it up. And then um, I do two washes. And that's the reason why... It doesn't really last me as long as some other folks would uh, because I do two washes. Because one of the things that I kind of learned is that with this shampoo, you have to first, you, you still use very, very little. Make, make sure your hair is very, very wet and you wash it once. It's not going to have any bubble. You're not going to feel like it's washed or cleaned um, until you wash it off. And the second wash, I actually put even a little bit more of the shampoo uh, obviously work it up add a little bit of water work it up to a little you know a thick lather and make sure your hair is very very wet in the shower and then just you know go to town and, and kind of you know do your normal thing um, don't rub your hair too much and that's the reason why like I think if you really like like rub it you would create a lot of bubbles and it would spread around a lot more but I don't like rubbing my hair that much I kind of like I, I like to like squeeze my hair a little bit to create the bubbles and that's probably why I am using a little bit more and using it up a little bit more faster. But I find that doing washing my hair that way, my hair feels pretty clean. Um, it's not too harsh on my hair. It's not harsh on my hair at all. Like it's not after I wash it, it's not going to be like all tangled up and you can't really do anything with it. Like it still feels like I don't do this in the shower, but like I feel like you know I I could still run my fingers through the hair, uh, but at the same time it's it's clean and washed and it's ready for conditioner, and this con um this lines conditioner the Kovaiba vanilla conditioner I use very 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 little so one bottle the one bottle is gonna last me a very long time, uh me and my husband are both using these uh, shampoo and conditioner so let's see how the next batch is gonna go and how fast it's gonna go i think the shampoo goes much faster than the conditioner in that regard so that's two personal care products that i have emptied the next thing that i have used up is um it's actually pretty beat up this bottle is pretty beat up uh is a progestins plus serum now this is for the ladies not for the guys um and this is something to help naturally balance your hormone so all you have to do is basically put a drop if you do if you still use the orifice like the dropper put a drop on your forearm once a day and just rub it together and that's it um i've had some very compelling experience that it's working really well for me in one instance late 2016 to the beginning of 2017 um, it's very very eye-opening it's very uh, I have like 
labs to prove it because <laughs> uh, I've actually seen adapter for uh, something like my hormones and I've been using this for two weeks and everything went back to normal so that's me uh, but ever since then I don't I wouldn't say that I use it every single day uh, but whenever I remember I would use it during this the like before and after, especially before and after your monthly cycle, um, I would especially feel that I need to use this. That's all I'm going to say. Um, but you could also actually, ooh, almost dropped it. You could also, um, the next bottle that I have, I actually put a rollerball into the bottle. So instead of dropping it, I basically just open it and roll it and then just rub it together, which makes it a little bit easier because sometimes at night, Right before you go into bed, the light is already kind of off and I'm like, I don't really see that drop coming. Is that drop coming? <laughs> so rolling it at least gives me like a little bit more control over it. Uh, so this is actually a must have for you ladies out there. Um, most people, one drop a day would be fine for balancing your hormone. Um, initially, I don't know how sensitive you are, but initially if you're starting, maybe just start with one drop every other day and then work it up to one drop a day. And if you feel like you have certain needs, this, I mean, just not just forearm, you could actually use it as a perfume. Um, or like during that time of the month, you know, where, you know, and then before and after your hormone kind of fluctuates a little bit you could actually use it at, around your abdominal area just roll a little bit on and just you know let it mellow so this one bottle lasts me I think maybe a year <laughs> I'm just only on my is this my second bottle but it lasts a very very long time there was a period of time I was like really aggressively using it so that's why it used up a little bit faster but, um, you know, if you're using one drop a day, this is a very big bottle. Okay, so the next thing that I have used up is the Tranquil Roll-On. <coughs> um, I've actually just recently did a video. I don't know when the, when the upload's going to happen. Um, but actually there is, um, a, a while ago I have another video that I have on Roll-On, uh, on Tranquil Roll-On, saying what it did for me when I kind of bump my hip onto the faucet in the tub um and this is actually something that i now use tranquil by the name you would think it's for it's just for um kind of calming and it does it calms you down it calms your mood down it calms your body down a little bit when you're a little frazzled uh but for me i basically use it for my skin any time, type of skin, like a little bit of paper cut here and there because it has lavender and cedar wood in it and Roman chamomile in it and it's already diluted. What I do is I basically just open it and just start rolling it on my skin. <clears throat> um, for the most part, I use it on, especially on, win on winter. I have very sensitive skin. If you so much as look at my skin wrong, it's going to turn red and it's going to be irritated and it's going to be mad. Yeah, so whenever that happens, for whatever reason, it irritates my skin, it turns red, or it gets a little angry at me, I would try to use this as my first defense and just roll it on and let it calm down. Um, when the winter comes, the skin is very itchy, and I just did a video. I don't know when I'm going to be uploading it before or after this, but um, when your skin is, is very, very, very irritated and itchy in the winter season because it's so dry, um, if you don't have Roman chamomile, this is a good substitute because it has Roman chamomile in it. It's already diluted. Not that you have to dilute Roman chamomile. I, I dilute it so that it, you know, it would last longer and it would cover more, you know, bigger area. But this is already diluted. You just basically open it and roll it on. A little bit goes a long way. And then you just basically, like, let's just say if I have any irritation here, like I did, I use a, um... The other day I used a uh, Mrs. Meyer hand soap just once to wash like a, a washcloth for like a few seconds and already it, it's like starting to show like immediately it was my whole back of the arm both of them are red and I immediately just do this and roll it on because that's what I have closest to me and it takes 
most of the redness away for me. Uh, it did still leave like a certain spots here uh, that are still red. But when, if I feel like it's, it's healing now, so when I feel like it's getting a little, oh yeah, it's getting a little itchy, I would roll it on again. So this is something that I actually bring with me every single day, everywhere I go now uh, in the winter, especially in the winter, because this is something that, you know, skin issue, like um, dry skin issue hits me very hard in the winter and in the summer, it's quite normal. Not as good as somebody. But quite normal. Um, so this is something that I bring pretty much everywhere I go. And it serves multiple purposes. You bump your hip, put this on. You have a little paper cut somewhere, put this on. Hang nails, put this on. If you're stressed because your kid is running around throwing things around, put this on. And if you have, you know, winter itchy skin, put it on. It will help. Okay, the next item that I have used up recently is the frankincense. Obviously, frankincense, it serves a lot of purpose too. I use frankincense in my diffuser. I topically apply it on me when I just, you know, I don't know what to put on. I want to put something on. I would just put this on. Um, if you have any skin, you know, irritation, you know, I would usually first gravitated toward this because this is a, a lot cheaper than this but this is actually very good for your skin um, if you wanted to kind of incorporate this into your skincare routine which I maybe every other day I do um, put a little bit of you know whatever like if your face like jojoba oil like mine or rose hip or coconut oil put a little bit on with a drop of this and kind of smooth it on your face. You could put it on undiluted, like put a drop on your on your palm and just uh, smell it and then just put it all over your face. You could do that too. Uh, but if you have a carrier oil, it would go a long way. One drop, I feel like once I put it on my palm, it's already absorbing in my palm and there's not a lot. And if you have to rub it together before you pat it on, it's like there's not a lot and enough you know, to go around like my neck and all my face. <laughs> Not that I have a very big face, but come on, my hands absorb everything. Um, so that's something that um, is something that I do every other day, I would say, whenever I remember. Um, so, so frankincense, it doesn't really last that long in my house. That's why whenever, like at the end of, I think at, in November of last year, uh, when they have frankincense and sacred frankincense as a freebie, I'm like, uh, I have to get some, I have, I have to get some. I have a healthy amount of backup, not enough for the whole year, <laughs> you know. Okay, two more items. The next one is vetiver. I think I ran out of vetiver at the end of December, maybe, maybe in the beginning of January, I don't know, um, very recently. This is something that I kind of discovered late last year, how good it is for sleeping i mean they're saying that yeah for kids if they have or for you <laughs> if you have you know if you have difficulty focusing on something or concentrating on something this could actually help ground you and focus you on certain things but i find that um i do try that on my kid actually um i give him a little bit of vetiver in the morning before he goes to the school and he's in preschool now so it's not like oh yeah he's in college <laughs> but he's in preschool so it's a little kitty stuff but i started using this on him in the morning just a little bit like just basically uh when i have the office i just dab a little bit and put it at the back of his neck or maybe on his wrist before he goes to school in the morning and for some reason the latest what they call a report card like they're you know basically to tell the parents what his progress is in preschool most of the score that came back saying that all the tasks he has mastered because it is actually it's kind of like an a in terms of you know their scale of rating how the kids are doing in each and every task or each and each and every uh, category he used to come home with some need improvement, some that are like middle of the row, basically meeting expectation. He's he's okay. He's doing it. 
you know uh but now he's like completely mastered like everything that they have on that report you know whatever ca category it's like a two 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 three page category almost everything is mastered which i'm like oh yeah this is the first time <laughs> um but i use most of this in a sleep diffusing blend um so at night i put this into the diffuser i usually put it into his diffuser because i i don't really need that much help for sleep um lap um lavender and cedarwood combined keeps my kid asleep after he falls asleep but then the thing is there are a couple of oils that helps him fall asleep so once he's like okay it's nap time close his eyes in the past it takes him an hour and a half to fall asleep i've incorporated two new oils to help him fall asleep and he falls asleep like five minutes sometimes five seconds <laughs> and this is one of them and it helps them fall asleep and not only that i feel like uh, there was this one night or, or there are a few nights I was sleeping in his room with him and, and I feel like when you have this in the diffuser it helps you have a very deep sleep okay so it helps you fall asleep and then it helps you remain in that deep REM sleep to have some very restful night this is good another one of the oil that I really really love this is something that I really love um is the peace and calming now i've used peace and calming you know this which is the original the peace and calming 2 i do have to say the peace and calming 2 does not work on me as well as this original recipe that they have some people said that the second one works better for them i'm not one of those um so for my kid i use this in his diffuser to fall asleep so between these two to to help him fall asleep and then I have lavender and cedarwood to help him stay asleep um, between usually in the summer I just those four oils in the diffuser I put it in one um, bottle blend it together and just I just basically have give him that bottle and he put it in into the diffuser and then I just plug it in and turn it on um, so we use a lot of this every single day in the winter is obviously a little different um i have a lot of other oils in there so these two in terms of ratio it's a little bit lower in a diffuser but if it's nights that i think that he really really needs something a little stronger because like in the winter obviously you put these in it right <laughs> and a whole bunch of other stuff to help them stay healthy and keep their immune system up um so obviously sometimes it uh, but sometimes if I feel like he needs a little bit more help, I would actually stop the diffuser, you know, open it, and put some of this back in. Um, there are, there were times when my kid has, you know, tantrum. He's four and a half. He's still having tantrum. Not as frequent as when he was like one and a half. Because um, I feel like... They say terrible twos. My kids' terrible twos came like seven months, you know, early. <laughs> uh, but he still has t has tantrum once in a while uh, when he does, especially when he wakes up from a nap prematurely. And when he does, depending on what I have on hand, I would try to let him smell the peace and calming. Or sometimes I was I would dab a little bit and put it in the back of his neck or at his wrist. I don't put a lot. Quite honestly, I just put a little bit. Um, the tranquil it's also oh, the tranquil <laughs> it's also one of the ones that i would try to give it to him when he has a um a, tant a tantrum depending on what i have on hand this i usually have on hand so if i don't have this if i'm out there somewhere if i i would you usually i would have this and i would just kind of give him a little bit and then he would push me away saying no no i don't want it and then um you know Sometimes it really depends on how far his emotion already went. Maybe he's already like off the cliff already. It takes a little bit longer or maybe a little bit more oil for him to like to reel him back in. Um, I do have to say these, this works pretty good, uh, but it takes a few minutes. It takes um, maybe multiple application. Uh, this works better. It also takes multiple application be 
only because quite honestly i don't put like a whole drop on him <laughs> i just basically dab a little bit and just kind of rub it let him smell a little bit um and it so it does take multiple application it does take a little bit maybe two or three minutes for him to really like take it down a notch so you know it's good to have on hand and it's something that i use at least at a minimum one bottle a month now because it's diffusing it's a tantrum now for me i also use this but maybe not as much in the diffuser but every single night i would put actually I, I, I wouldn't know if it's really a whole drop, but I have like a dedicated bottle of Peace and Calming. And what I did was I apply it on my wrist. Basically, I just do this, kind of tilt it a little bit. And then whatever that's on hand, I just rub it together on my wrist. And, you know, sometimes I, when I sleep, I have my hand around it, uh, around my face so I could smell it too. But if not, it goes into your, it goes into your body. And, you know, you know how small these molecules are? It goes through your body very, very fast. And I feel that when I apply it, I fall asleep and I stay asleep much better than when I just diffuse it. Because I... I put a lot of water in my diffuser sometimes i might not have put enough drops because you know it's just one bottle and i have so many different uses of the same thing <laughs> so it's not something that i wanted to just kind of you know douse in my diffuser so i i rather just put like half drop or maybe a drop onto my wrist um i think the reason why it is so blue is it because it has blue tansy yeah it has blue tansy in it so it has tangerine, orange, ylang lang, ylang, ylang, uh, patchouli, and blue tansy. Blue tansy is known to be very, very calming. And um, sometimes when I have this and nothing else on hand, I would use this to calm my irritated winter skin. If an, an, an itchy skin patch comes up, if I have this around I would actually put this because blue tansy is actually very very calming on the skin okay so these are my the recent uh, products that I have used up probably all in the last month or so <laughs> uh, I have a lot of I try to stretch it a little bit but obviously I have a lot of stuff that I use every single day that it doesn't really last that long um, so here is the one two five seven products that I have used up lately so and that's how I used it up that's how I how much I like it and those are the usage that I have for these products uh, if you like these type of contents make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel mommy trainee and um, I will see you in the next video and until then take care bye bye